Um, last week was such a fun class. I, I just, I've watched that two, three times. And it, with the bad ladies and all that. Now, that patience, you can't beat that. But you need, just exactly like with PD, we have got to have good balance or we concentrate too much on the calmness and we don't have fun. We, we have to have a good smattering of everything. That's a well-rounded dog. It keeps us well-rounded. Now, today, we think back, the dogs all walk on leads. The dogs all are patient. The dogs really are doing very well. Now, we can go forward, halt, circle right, circle left, about turn, you turn, sit, wait, blah, 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 blah. That's kind of just going through the motions. Now, it's not just the dogs that get bored with that, but the people do too. So if we want our dogs to be really working dogs, happy, fun, good, responsive companions, we need to have some fun with what we're doing. We need to give a practical application to everything we're doing, meaning it's got to look like we actually enjoy ourselves. If we're not enjoying ourselves, you can bet the dog's not going to. Because they watch us. So if we come across like we're bored out of, out of our minds, well, so is the dog. For that reason, we have to add some games to it. We do a lot of odd things in this, in this place, but there's nothing like adding some urgency and some fun to what we're doing. And that's what we're going to do now, right now. Watch your dog. This is personal Come space. You're easy, Fargo. Don't let him do that. Easy. With this me. is why it's important to teach this in the first place, easy. so that when you get into a situation like this, easy. you're good. Uh, wait. All right. What are we doing? Oh, stop, sit, stop, sit. Now, we're going to do the first one as practice. Out of your mark. Get set. Go. Sit, sit. Cooper, sit. Sit, sit. Don't hurt yourself. Oh, hey, sit. 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 Good boy. Good boy. Sit. 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 I grab his collar and I push his butt. Come on. Come on. So with the other oh, hand, you're going to grab it with your set, right hand get up here. Set, and pop his butt Good down. Boy. Sit.
Now this is going to get really interesting. You're going to run to the other end, call, call the dog, I'll let it go, and it'll run to you. A good idea is to go part way and then back up, and the movement usually gets the dog to you. It's difficult with two dogs together. I'm going to do my best. We'll see. Now, we can't have a bunch of dogs loose at the same time, so you're going to have to have your dog before the next one can go. Okay? So we're going to try it. All right. If your dog is not good at recall at all, you're going to go to the end of it, call the dog. I'm going to let the line out. You'll take a hold of it. Get set. Go. Come on. Come with me. Easy. Easy. Come on. Come Easy. Easy. This is a game. This is what. Good girl. Look at that. your turn. All right, this is a fun game. Again, I like to throw the dogs into a group. Um, I like there to be chaos because with a practical application, you're not going to have it all controlled and, and calm. When you need the behaviors, it's never calm and, and orderly. It's always you need the behaviors. So this game is just a silly game. We can play it rougher, we can play it nicer. I'm gonna play nice today. Um, everybody's gonna to go around the outside. I'm gonna give them commands. If somebody's ahead of you that's going slower, that's fine, go ahead and pass them, no big deal. When I say a color, circle, checkerboard, red, green, star, I guess I'm going to have blue ones down there. Okay, we'll that one. That'll be the last one. That'll be the last one, yeah. Could be. Say. I don't. Everybody's going to be piling on that one. I don't like that. I want to start with the last one. Yeah, I know. It's our floor. Well, okay, I'll shut up. All right. <laughs> okay. When we start out, we do a little practice and we give everybody fun. And then pretty soon it starts to get ugly. Because when they stop on the mat, then we pick that mat up. 
And pretty soon there's elimination. Because if you don't have a mat, you're out. Everybody got that? Now the dog's butt has to be on the mat. Oh, yes. You, you know, in this game, we like to do the training for when we actually play some of the harder, harder ways to play. In the more advanced classes, we kind of really have fun. We really push them. But you want your dog's butt on the mat. If the front feet are on there, somebody can, can see steal. It. Okay, um, take it easy on the short one over here. Don't get, I mean, it's fun to have fun, but we want him to go home with two nice dogs still in relatively good health. <laughs> so if you don't accomplish it, we go, we go and sit down. Right. Well, you know, you'll know because you won't have a mat. You can still have your dog sit, so you're still kind of playing the game, but if you don't have the mat at that point, then you would be eliminated. Well, totally. You're playing along. You aren't going to have a problem. Good boy. Okay. okay. Raise them up forward. Around the circle they go. Good job. Good set. You sit, you wait. There you go. Okay. 
Okay, praise him. Pick those mats up. I'm picking them. No, no, no. Only yours.
Daniel's busy. Yeah. Yeah. Sit. You sit. 
Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> that you really need to make it a priority. You could see the people that made it a priority, and you could see the people that it wasn't a priority until there was a game included in it. Meaning Dale. <laughs> because for the most part, repetition and routine and predictability is boring. Jaeger says, oh, kindergarten again, until we start playing some games. And secretly, deep down inside, that's exactly what Petraeus is thinking, too. <laughs> well, you know, we have to give these dogs credit to come back. There's really no reason for Jaeger to be here other than it's a nice class. Petraeus likes to come, but really, truly, this is repeating grade school over and over and over again. He's we'll way on. beyond this. We'll Okay, so when we do these kinds of things, it's just because we enjoy coming out. It's not really when you've got a trained dog. I mean, Fargo, he's a good sport about this. This is He's been out as a service dog doing all sorts of things. Jaeger does all sorts of things. Even Roy, Buddy, Cooper. But it's fun to come and remind the dog that, yes, you can. And that's a good, a good mix with people who are just learning because it sets an example. So when we play these games, we don't buy prizes. The prize is the behavior. When you think about where Maggie was when Dale started, she was aggressive to other dogs. And yet today, Dale's shoving her in there. Now granted, sometimes Dale forgets to remind Maggie. But really, truly, this is the safest place to learn instead of out in the community. You take these distractible puppies, look at how good they really did. It also gives us a chance to see where we're at. When we did this last game, Joan kind of forgot the rules from the game before. <laughs> we need to carry these rules over into all aspects. Now when we look at Gracie and Frankie, they came for a private lesson, what, a week ago? A week and a half ago? A couple weeks. Yeah. Well, it'll be two weeks on Sunday, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Those two dogs came to the first class and basically watched. They came last week, we had them tied to the wall, same old stuff, and look it. They were right up there to the end. It was, was it Frankie that Frank, was there oh yeah, to Frank, the end? Yeah, yeah Frank, Frank, you almost won, boy. He's a, he's a good setter. Right? That's right. Now, this is the prize. Prizes are unique and individual for the people that participate. Jones come a long ways today. But it kind of throws you when it's at that speed. Yeah, you can remember when you have to sit and blah, blah, blah. But when we start throwing all the dogs together, it, oh my gosh, that's what we need. That's when it happens. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this kind of today. This is the big stuff. But look at how good that puppy did. She's worked out. Well, yeah, so are you. Yeah, I know. It's a lot of effort. Miracle did really well. She really did. And I just, you grabbed her and a hold of her and made her believe. 
Well, that's because they're not letting her overdo. That's truly the key is keep it going. While she's growing, she cannot overuse it or she's done. If she gets muscles appropriately and develop, you know, and they get stronger, she'll be fine because she just needs to be lower key. That's what I said. She's not going to play football. She needs to play the piano. But she's doing fine. Yeah. Lucy is doing fine. Now you can see this dog and this dog think very much alike. The same issues you were having were just issues in the adult. Jaeger says, oh, I'm doing this nonsense. It's the same thing. And you can see if you don't deal with this, now, Jaeger's fine. He just doesn't think kindergarten is appropriate for a working guy. And, and he's right. But it's okay because he's got to keep, you know, he can't determine what's going to be up to the tray. And she does so many different things. So I'm very proud of all of you. Very proud of you. The dogs, the recall actually was pretty pretty promising in most, dog, most of the dogs. They did really well. The sits, okay, you need to be a little pushier with that. But you know what? I could live with a dog that doesn't sit as long as it comes when it's called and it behaves itself. Of course, you don't win musical mats, but... Anyway, the dog, again, is the reflection of your priorities and the lifestyle it lives. Let that little 17-year-old girl start making some decisions. She'll be fine. Great group of people, and you know I'm proud of all of you. So anyway, we'll see.